Evening. Anna Bly and Campbell Newman have faced off in the final debate of the campaign. The Premier was attacked over asset sales while Mr Newman's costings were under the spotlight. Neither landed a knockout blow during the hour-long contest. At least one senior Labor minister admits the election is already lost. I think Brian, Brian Freddie can see that we'll probably get an LNP government uh, after Saturday. And after trying to avoid each other for the past four weeks of the campaign, today there was no escape. I stand here today with a very strong record of delivery, delivering for Queenslanders, despite those very tough times. This is the place where your dreams should come true. But sadly, under this government, a lot of that has been lost. They outlined their focus. Those are the policies. They're all on the internet. Stuck to their electoral script and went on the attack. Well, Premier, if times are so good, why is it uh, that across this state people are coming up to me in desperation as they see their businesses fall apart in front of them? With only five days to go, isn't it time you told Queenslanders how you will be funding this extraordinary amount of uh, commitments? In terms of where can savings come from? Well, consultants, travel, accommodation. Campbell Newman dismissed Anna Bly's questions about his integrity. They've been investigated by the Crime and Misconduct Commission and, ladies and gentlemen, no case to answer. I grew up in a Queensland where these sorts of issues uh, were far too prevalent. And I grew up in a Queensland where asking questions about them just wasn't done. And after the vitriol of recent weeks, there were only a few prickly moments. What the Premier just said is incorrect and untrue. Then why was it listed as an action in your supposedly action-oriented policy? Premier, it's written so that people across the state will understand. With Mr Newman not having a seat in Parliament, today's debate is the only real opportunity for the pair to go head-to-head -head before next Saturday's poll. We're ready for government, we're passionate, we're committed, and we're asking for Queenslanders to get behind us and just vote one for the LNP on March the 24th. Please join us. People are excited about the future that this state has. If the polls are right on Saturday night, Labor won't be a part of that future for years to come. Patrick Condry, 7 News.